I want to encourage all businesses and the general public to continue to perform their civic responsibility by paying their taxes as a Wednesday. FRS is paid to pay your tax. We went to the National Economic Council and we said to the governors, please adopt this committee as your committee. And they adopted us. So we have been adopted by the Federation, not just the federal government. This committee was not set up to make Nigerians pay more taxes. No. Actually, the contrary is the objective. Hello and welcome to Tax Matters. It was another busy week this last week in the taxation sector. In one single day, Thursday the 9th of November 2023, the FRS touched base with critical stakeholders. In Lagos, it was the FRS day at the 2023 Lagos International Trade Fair. It had been a whole week of teeming crowd visiting the FRS stand at the Africa Hub located in the bowl of Tafa Belawa Square venue of the Trade Fair. Also in Lagos, the chairman of the Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms was at the University of Lagos, where the Center for Business, Law and Policy hosted a policy dialogue on the current fiscal and monetary reform in Nigeria, working the talk. And in Abuja, the large tax department, oil and gas of the FRS, hosted a stakeholders engagement for oil and gas downstream companies and tax consultants in the northern region, including the FCT. Each of these three events qualifies a standalone episode, and we'll get around to that in a few weeks. But on this episode, we will give you excerpts from those events. Call it an appetizer if you like. So sit down, relax, and enjoy this jolly ride into the world of information and education and taxation. I'm Chamaka Ohaochi. I'm a very busy man. My business involves a lot of traveling and I interface with lots and lots of people and organizations. Tax compliance used to be a big drag on my business. It was time consuming and very costly. But now, no more. Introducing the FIRS Tax Pro Max, the truly fully end-to-end -end tax administration solution for companies' income tax, value-added tax, petroleum profits tax, and all other tax types. For fast, efficient, and convenient end-to-end -end tax experience, log on to www.taxpromax.firs.gov.ng. Tax Pro Max has turned things around for me. It is fast, user-friendly, and cost-effective. FIRS, making tax administration as easy as ABC. Welcome once again. The Federal Inland Revenue Service rightly prides itself as a customer-centric institution, the customer here being the esteemed taxpayer. Taxpayers are considered by the FRS as kings, and the service makes it a point of duty to meet with the kings anywhere that the opportunity provides itself, and so you find the FRS teams at exhibitions and at trade fairs, even as it organizes stakeholder engagements from time to time. From Friday the 3rd to Sunday the 12th of November 2023, the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry hosted the 2023 Lagos International Trade Fair and throughout the 10 days, the FRS received visitors at its stand. High point of the 10-day fair was the FRS Day, held on Thursday the 9th of November. On hand to welcome the teaming members of the public to the occasion was the president of the LCCI, who was ably represented by the deputy president, Mr. Gabriel Idahosa. The host for the fair today for this event, FIROS, plays a pivotal role in Nigeria's economic landscape. And these reforms have far-reaching implications for government, domestic, and foreign investors. FIROS has achieved remarkable tax revenue growth in recent times. The introduction of initiatives such as the Tax Pro Max, the One Click Tax Clearance Certificate, and other technology tools for automation have streamlined tax administration processes. These reforms enhance transparency, accountability, and reporting to the taxpayer and to government. These moves towards a fully automated system is not just a game changer for revenue 
collection, but also for ease of doing business and a tax-friendly environment. What an understanding, what a deep appreciation of the work being done by the FRS. And coming from a foremost body like the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, it calls for chair. Mr. Dahosa gave this charge. We we'll also like to charge the Agency on Transparent Tax Administration that will foster investor confidence. We know a lot of this is being done already, but it is a continuous journey. Tax administration should foster investor confidence and at the same time enhance transparency because they are connected. Through reforms, investors and the business community can trust that their tax payments haven't been collected contribute to national development. By eliminating duplicity of taxes and improving service delivery, FIROS minimizes transaction costs for businesses. This creates a more favorable environment for investment, a robust and equitable tax system, attracting foreign investors, and ensuring that their continuous success is, is, is guaranteed by the transparency of the system. Executive Chairman FRS Dr. Zakios Adedeji was ably represented at the FRS Day by the State Coordinator, Lagos Island Region, Mrs. Fadeke Oyeni. This day is geared towards educating and sensitizing our major esteemed stakeholder, the taxpayer. You are the king, and we are here to serve you. That's why you can see service in our name, Federal Inland Revenue Service. We are here to serve you. Federal Inland Revenue Service is a power by law to assess, collect, and account for taxes collected on behalf of federal government. The role FRS played in the economic growth and development of our nation cannot be overemphasized. As the revenue from crude oil is constantly nose diving and the only sustainable revenue to government today is tax. It is imperative to know that FRS contribution to FAC, Federation Accounts Allocation Committee, account for more than 70% of the total revenue distributed to all various shares of government. Taxpayer being our esteemed tax stakeholders must understand their tax obligations and rights. It is imperative to keep them informed, sensitize and engage to enable them to fulfill their tax obligation without any issue. And that is the reason why we are here today. Showcase FRS. Mrs. Oyeni continues. The theme of this year, Lagos International Trade Fair, is connecting businesses, creating value, is in tandem with the physical goal of the current administration of taxing prosperity and not poverty. The aim is to provide a neighborly environment for businesses to strive through value creation. The current administration of Federal Land Revenue Service led by Dr. Sa Adedegi is committed to improve the revenue collection by the service using cutting edge technology and various laudable reforms that will increase the country tax GDP to 18% in the next three years from the current 10.8%. I want to encourage all businesses and the general public to continue to perform their civic responsibility by paying their taxes as a when due. I also encourage taxpayers to make use of the newly introduced tax solution which is called TAS Thomas. For use of registration, 
filing payments and other tax obligations at the comfort of their homes and offices. The service also have a world-class fully automated contact center where taxpayers can call in to log in their complaints and inquiries in various languages and they will be attended to. The contact center open 24 hours a day and is multilingual. A taxpayer can call in different languages and they will be attended to by our proper professional staff. We have also introduced a self-service station in all our offices across the country. We are taxpayers can access all our services on tax format with a dedicated computer system and personnel to assist them. These lofty initiatives are meant to make tax compliance as easy as ABC. Task Matter spoke to Mrs. Omonike Meyaki, task controller, Bar Beach Micro and Small Tax Office, Lagos. This international trade fair for this year, I will tell you that it is full, and from what I have seen so far, it has brought so many businesses together, and these are these businesses, they are our stakeholders, they are our taxpayers. So we are happy that we are able to, through our stand and the special day of FIRS, tell people who we are, what we stand for, and to let them know in all that we are serving them. We can confirm that the FIRS had indeed a good our thing at the 2023 Lagos International Trade Fair. We move on to our next story and it is on the same trajectory, that is, constant dialogue with stakeholders. On the same day of the trade fair outing, Thursday 9th November, the large tax department oil and gas of the FRS hosted a stakeholders engagement for oil and gas downstream companies and tax consultants in the northern region, including the FCT, with the theme, Platform for Informed Conversation on Oil and Gas Downstream Operations. It was well attended. Alaji Bello is the acting director, Large Tax Department, Oil and Gas. Considering the vital role your sector play in the Nigerian economy, and specifically to the service revenue that matter, it becomes necessary to organize this workshop with the team platform for informed conversation on oil and gas dance. Executive Chairman FRS, Dr. Zakir Zadideji, was represented by the Coordinating Director, Special Tax Operations Group, Hajia Aminado. The downstream sector is more than, by any kind of estimate, more than 15 trillion in terms of uh, its uh, turnover. I can imagine if this sector really works the way it should, uh, what will it will mean for Nigeria? And we want to make sure that collaborate with you to ensure that you continue to contribute towards uh, national development. But as we interact today, really the important thing is to um, help us understand you and help you also understand uh, your obligations as taxpayers and for us to get feedback from you on how we can serve you better. formalities over presentations we are made the first was an overview of the operational function of large tax oil and gas delivered by mr norbong omo task controller large tax department oil and gas abuja frs operates a self-assessment regime as we all know self-assessment is nothing but a method whereby a taxpayer is required to correctly compute on tax liability, properly 
complete tax returns, files the self-assessment, and submits the tax returns together with the accompanying uh, documents on or before the due date. The self-assessment tax system encourages voluntary compliance because of the liberty it grants the taxpayers to compute his tax by himself, make payments and file returns by the due dates. Every company is expected to file the following documents with the tax authority on tax pro max. The second presentation was on tax pro max, delivered by Mr. Mbami Shongwam of the tax pro max team. As we know, tax pro max is a homegrown solution. It is an integrated tax administration solution, which actually performs the functions of the service. It assesses, it collects, it accounts. So it's also a revenue assurance tool. So whatever you need to do in FRS as pertains to tax administration is being carried out on the solution called Tax Promax. It accepts your returns, it assesses you, it gives you a bill, you pay what you need to pay, you reconcile your ledger, it goes for that to give you receipt for your payment, give you TCC on request if you're qualified. The last presentation was on the tax audit process, delivered by Mrs. Victoria Levy, Head of Audit, Oil and Gas Abuja. Mrs. Levy seized the opportunity to disabuse the minds of our audience with regards to the purpose of tax audits. Do not be afraid of tax audits. Tax audits is not based on maybe you have been reported as people who likely hope or think probably my tax auditor or my consultant or somebody is after my business. No. The self-assessment regime requires concurrent filing of returns and payment of tax due for the due dates as we have been abreast through the TC and the tax programs. Relevant tax law shall accept tax returns submitted, but empowered to audit the returns thereafter. You are to run the business, prepare your records, come up with your assessment. The only tool is for FRS to come on routine check, which is audit, as a feedback. Hence, it's mandatory for companies or taxpayers to undergo a routine task audit. However, FRS adopt risk profiling and reform criteria to, for audit case selection. And this is backed up by extant law, FRS Establishment Act, Act 26 and 35. Basic objectives of task audits include it promotes voluntary compliance, ensure that taxpayers pay their fair share of tasks, you are not expected to pay what you are supposed you are not to pay what you are, is due from you. Ensure that each taxpayer have their fair share of tasks. Confirm adherence to prevailing tax laws. Verify reported position with confidence. To detect and deter tax avoidance and evasion. Impose sanctions where appropriate. The presentations were followed by a robust question and answer session. We did say at the introduction of the episode that each of the three events that took place on Thursday, 9th November 2023, qualifies as standalone episodes in their individual rights. We all know too well that even as Nigeria rightly strives to make non oil revenue the higher contributor to Nigeria's revenue base, oil and gas will, for quite some time to come, remain a major contributor. So, the story of these stakeholders' engagement with oil and gas industry operators will come to you in fuller detail in a subsequent episode, or we dare say subsequent episodes of the program. You are still on to tax matters. A few episodes ago, we told you the story of the retreat held by the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in Ikorek Benakwa Ibram State, solely devoted to tax and fiscal reforms. We also told you the story of the national essay competition organized by the CITN for members of the Association of Nigerian Taxation Students, ANTAS, which was also solely devoted to tax and fiscal reforms 
and we will come making the point that support for the efforts of government to reform the Nigerian tax system is coming from all angles. On Thursday, the 9th of November, the magical date, the Department for Center for Business, Law and Policy hosted a policy dialogue on the current fiscal and monetary reform in Nigeria, walking the talk. In attendance was the Chairman of the Presidential Committee on Fiscal Policy and Tax Reforms, Mr. Taiwo Oyedele. Mr. Oyedele presented a paper on the theme of the event, which was followed by a discussion by a panel of discussants. Thereafter, participants at the dialogue took turns to express their views and ask questions. In response to the various observations and questions, Mr. Oyedele went into a very enlightening and detailed presentation of the Quick Wins report presented by his committee to President Tunubu on Tuesday, the 24th of October, 2023. The main focus of the work of the committee is fiscal policies. Fiscal policies has three components. It has revenue, it has spending, and it has borrowing. But by extension, the president also said, help me with coordination of my economic policies, particularly fiscal policy and monetary policy. That is why our committee has so many people. Even the central bank is a member of our committee. The debt management office is also a member of the committee. Of course, FRS. There was another question about this work. How are you going to get the state to do it? Since they are the ones that you know, bring multiple taxation the most. Yes, we recognize that. So we went to the National Economic Council and we said to the governors, please adopt this committee as your committee. And they adopted us. So we have been adopted by the Federation, not just the federal government, which I think is good. So let me quickly discuss the Quick Wins report. So the work of the committee is divided into milestones or phases. Phase one is help us find quick wins of things we can do very quickly, where you don't need to go and speak to 100 million Nigerians before you know whether it's right or wrong. That was the report we gave to Mr. President about two weeks ago. Phase two is critical reforms. Under critical reforms, we are rewriting all the major tax laws in Nigeria. We are rewriting them afresh. We are proposing amendment to the Constitution of Nigeria to clarify taxing rights. For example, who should collect VAT? We don't need Supreme Court to tell us who should collect VAT. We need to come together and say, this is who should collect it. So, that's critical reform. The third phase is implementation. So one thing that is different about this committee is, it's not a committee to submit white paper and then we, are, we start debating it 15 years later. The number one recommendation is managing cost of governance. Government needs to optimize value from their assets, government-owned enterprises, and natural resources. Second one is, we said that there should be better collaboration between MDAs. We also said that government should start implementing technology for expanding the tax base and the tax net. So I think one thing that came out from this discussion so far that I'm glad I'm here to correct is that this committee was not set up to make Nigerians pay more taxes. No, actually the contrary is the objective. The objective is that data is showing us that the vast majority of people at the bottom of the ladder have been the one paying the taxes. And that is very different from what we have seen in every country where the system is working. In countries where the system is working, they protect the poor people. Including South Africa, that I gave you the example, they have a high threshold for exemption. Brazil, a few weeks ago, just increased their exemption to about 400,000 Naira equivalent per month, for which you don't pay personal income tax. UK has 13,000 pounds. You don't pay any income tax because by their standard, you are poor with 13,000 pounds. That's about 15 million Naira. 
I'm not suggesting that Nigeria should do 15 million naira. I'm saying Nigeria should define what is that threshold that reasonably protects someone so they can still have the basics of life without you extracting more taxes from them. Time will not permit us to serve you the full presentation of Mr. Oyedele. We are sure that it will come to you in subsequent episodes of Tax Matters. We thank you once again for riding with us on this journey to the world of taxation in Nigeria. Remember, it pays to pay your tax. Bye for now.